One million dollars. A million bucks. Yeah, this isn't even close to a million bucks. This is actually just a couple thousand dollars that I actually owe to a contractor who's working on my house. But I thought this is what you guys might want to like to see. So it's a little bit of a fake flex just to get your attention. But I swear I'm not trying to flex. I just want to get your attention so you'll listen to what I have to say in this video. So $1 million is a lot of money. I mean, the term millionaire is coined and it's generally used to describe someone who's rich, wealthy, who's made it who can have the cars, the houses, the girls, the guys, the vacations, the whatever. Being a millionaire is generally uh, regarded as something that makes all those awesome things people tend to want in life a whole lot easier to get. I mean, I don't know anyone who wouldn't want to be a millionaire. And I mean, before we get into this video, I should at least ask, are you interested in becoming a millionaire? I mean, probably a silly question. I'll bet that we all want to become millionaires. But I figured I'd ask, leave a, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on the whole concept of becoming a millionaire. Also, smashing the like button is an activity that all millionaires should participate in. It's great, I'm grateful for it, and it's great exercise for the finger you use to do the smashing. So smash the like button, I really appreciate it. Anyways, this video is about how Fiverr might be able to help you become a millionaire. So for as long as I can remember, you know, searching for ways to make money online, becoming a millionaire, making money, there's always been this theme or like mindset that I've read up about. And it's this concept that most millionaires have multiple streams of income. And typically the number of streams of income millionaires seem to have usually falls between five and seven. Like a lot of these bloggers or posts or millionaires talking about becoming millionaires say that you need like five or seven different income streams and that's usually part of the formula to becoming a millionaire. And generally, I think it's pretty safe to say that you can categorize most income streams into what you would call either active income or passive income. Active income is any activity where you'd essentially be trading your time for money or you're doing work, actively doing some sort of work and you're getting paid for the result. Typically, any fiber seller who's selling a gig or you're actually doing something for your clients, I'd consider that active income. Passive income is where you're getting paid for something where you might not necessarily need to be trading your time for right then and there. So think of this YouTube channel as passive income, for example. Passive income is things where you've put in the sweat equity, you've built content, you've built systems and workflows that will generate you income you know, for months, weeks, or years to come. That's, that's what I would consider passive income. So kind of the idea for this video is when I started thinking about different income streams and becoming a millionaire and active and passive income streams, I started to think that, you know, hey, Fiverr might be able to help people check off a couple of different income streams. You know, I think Fiverr is a great way to make both active income and passive income. And I think there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the different income streams I think you can generate through Fiverr to help you on that journey of, you know, whether it's becoming a millionaire, just making a lot more money online or whatever. So I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna talk about these different income streams and I'm really interested to hear your thoughts in the comments, if I missed any, or if you have any comments on the ones that I mentioned in this video. So I think the most obvious first income stream or way to make money on Fiverr has to be active income, right? Fiverr is a platform where us freelancers and Fiverr sellers sell services to people where they pay us for those services. And typically those services require some sort of activity done on our end to deliver that value. So when thinking about different income streams you can generate on Fiverr, the first has to be active income in my opinion. Create a gig, get good at that gig and get it to the point where you can count on it to bring in a consistent amount of income to you every month. Take me for example, I've been doing Fiverr for about three years. It took me a little while to get my main email writing gig to a point where it was generating me a consistent amount of money every month. But now I'm at the point where that one gig, that first gig of mine, I can count on it to generate anywhere from $500 to $1,500 per month, just that one gig. So that's the first step, is find a gig, find a niche, find a skill that you can offer, you can get really good at it, create one gig with it, and use that to generate a consistent stream of active income. 
That's number one. Kind of a phase two or a second stream of active income that you can create out of Fiverr, I think would come from leveraging Fiverr Studios. Fiverr Studios is a great way to manage and offer more complex services, to take on more complex projects, and to collaborate with other Fiverr sellers that might have skills and expertise that fall outside of the realm of what you're good at and already sell on Fiverr. So when I think of Fiverr Studios as a way to build active income, similar to creating a gig, you'd create a studio and pick team members of this studio so you all can offer services that have a higher ticket price to your clients that you can delegate work to and that you can build a different stream of revenue that way. So when I think of Fiverr Studios, you know, let's say you have a client that's hired you to do graphic design for the last three years and now they want you to start doing visual marketing campaigns where you're doing graphic design, their sales copy, and maybe there's video with spokesperson talking in there. You might not be good enough to do all three of those types of things yourself, but if you have a studio that can offer that type of service, you can build a bigger gig, a more expensive gig, and delegate the work to the different members of your team. So that could create a whole different stream of income because the types of buyers that might be interested in your studio gig might be a little bit more mature, complex, advanced, than you know, people who are just buying your you know, point solution individual Fiverr gig. So that's the second income stream. I think Fiverr Studios can make a great form of active income. The third form of active income that I think you can generate through Fiverr comes in the form of consulting. So let me put it to you this way. You're, you're a Fiverr seller. You sell your services to a lot of different clients. I'm sure like me, you've probably had clients who have come back and ordered consistently from you. you know, I have some clients who order from me monthly, quarterly, however often, because they have the same types of projects coming up. A lot of companies uh, sometimes get to the point where they might not want to have to outsource this work forever, right? So if they've had a great experience with you and they say, hey, listen, this is gonna be our last project together. We're actually working on building an internal team to do this. You can position yourself as a consulting resource to advise them on how to build that team. So now you're not selling this as like a, a base price gig. You can scope out a number of hours that they would need to buy from you to help you complete this task. So whether you wanna say, hey listen, put me on retainer for 100 hours, I charge $50 an hour, um, and I'll help you build out this team. You can sell that type of consulting service through Fiverr. And that's an, I consider that a different income stream than just selling a gig, because that would probably come in a situation where your client is going from ordering small gigs from you regularly, to this might be maybe the end of your Fiverr relationship, or maybe a, a once in a while, not so often type of service where they buy a big bucket of consulting time from you once a year, and they leverage your experience to help them build new teams or processes with in their organization. All right, so so far, I've just listed three ways that Fiverr can help you generate active income. Now let me know, do you agree with those three ways or those forms of income that you're currently leveraging Fiverr to help you generate? Did I miss any? Leave a comment, let me know. Now I'm gonna jump over to how I think Fiverr can help you generate passive income. So the first and number one way that I think you can leverage Fiverr to help you generate passive income is this, you're looking at it, YouTube teaching people how to do what you do. People love to see the behind the scenes of how to do something. And in our case, that behind the scenes on this channel is how to sell on Fiverr. But if you're a Fiverr seller that specializes in, let's say, graphic design, marketing, digital marketing, building Shopify stores, whatever, you could create a, a YouTube channel that talks about your experience doing those things and it can help you generate passive income in the form of AdSense and affiliate links. And this is awesome, right? So like if you've been selling on Fiverr for two or three years as a graphic designer, you have two or three years worth of experience that you can turn into content that new graphic designers will definitely find valuable. Alternatively, if you're someone who runs a Shopify store, you build Shopify stores for people on Fiverr and you've been doing it for a few years, you have that many years more experience than anyone just looking to get into that niche and those types of people, those new sellers who are looking to do just that can really benefit from hearing what you have to say and learning from you. So YouTube is a great way to turn your Fiverr experience and the jobs you've done on Fiverr and take that experience and build a content library that'll help you generate passive income. The second way that I think you can take your Fiverr experience or working on Fiverr and turn that into a great passive income stream is by putting in the sweat equity to create and then sell a course. So whether that's a course that teaches 
teaches people how to sell on Fiverr, similar to the stuff I do here on YouTube, or it's a course that teaches people how to get started as a Fiverr seller in a particular niche that you have experience in, if you're willing to put in the time to plan out the course, record videos, and build course material that's actually gonna be helpful to people and provide value, you can sell that on a site like Skillshare, Udemy, your own website, wherever. Honestly, it's a great thing to do. I haven't done that myself because it, you know, it's a huge time commitment and this already is for me, but that's another great way of generating passive income. You know, it's 2021 and we live in an era of the guru, right? Everyone's selling a course, but if you can actually offer value to people in this course, you should consider doing it. It's a great stream of passive income where you can pivot your Fiverr experience into a great stream of passive income. All right, so that's that's the five income streams that I think you can leverage Fiverr into. Three active income streams and two passive income streams. And I think it's really cool and important to throw Fiverr into this mix of creating income streams to become a millionaire. Because ultimately, we're living in a world where people are pivoting into the gig economy, people are running side hustles more than ever before, and Fiverr is a great tool to make that kind of dream of kind of being your own boss, making money online and ultimately becoming a millionaire one day are reality. So let me know what you thought about these five different income streams. Do you think they're legit? Were there any I missed? Uh, any comments on what I mentioned? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Looking forward to hearing from you. Until next time, cheers.